you grew up in the 1980s, then having a hoverboard, like Marty McFly's, was probably something you dreamed about but never thought could happen. But believe it or not, the science behind a similar design has actually been around since the 1700s. To explore air compression further, our Tomorrow's World Today host, George Davison, along with one of Invention Land's creationeers, Stuart, demonstrate the hovering phenomenon. Take a All look at right. this. All right. So this is the Bernoulli grip. Works off Bernoulli's principle. You can see here, we have a compressor in the other room. Okay. It's blowing high speed air with these blue arrows here. And it creates a low pressure field right in the middle with the yellow arrow. Yes. Which works like a vacuum. Ah. So the outside air pressure holds whatever material you want right up to the base of it. And it won't even touch it. Well, wow, that's really interesting. Let me make sure I understand this. So in the other room, in this illustration, there's a compressor running that's filling a tank. And it's forcing high speed air out of that head, right? Yep. When it does that, it's creating a vacuum right here in the middle. Is that right? Exactly. And you only need touching your part. It huh. creates almost like a little hovercraft in there. That's nice. So no, no damage to the part if it's really a sensitive piece. Exactly. Very nice. You know what? And this is one of those times where science feels like magic. You know, air's blowing out of this, but it still, it creates that vacuum with the outside air pushing it right up in there. It's amazing. It seems surreal, really. Yeah. yeah. You want to take a look? Of course, Stu. All right. <laughs> The science behind air compression is used to support the automation process in manufacturing by making difficult tasks much simpler in tomorrow's world today. For more information on the innovations that are shaping our world, head over to tomorrowsworldtoday.com.